Hello, hello. Welcome to Empress Black Tarot. Today we're going to be doing a reading for you, Pisces. If you are here and you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Okay. Clear and concise messages for Pisces. Happy Friday Eve, Pisces. We made it. We made it. We made it through the week. All right, guys, we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. We have a separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Pisces. And we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, I have new love. I have new love. Okay, guys. That's pretty plain and simple. We also have trust. So there's something about your faith, Pisces. There's something about your faith. There's something about you needing to let go of past pains, let go of past hurts, Make sure that you've healed because you do have an opportunity for new love here. There's going to be some attraction. There's going to be some attraction. I just saw imagination and patience. So you're going to have to make sure that you're not fantasizing things. Make sure that you're paying attention and not missing red flags when there's new love come in. You guys know how we can get distracted. So caught up in an infatuation. Messages for Pisces, please. All right, clear and concise messages for Pisces. First card out is Envy. This is crazy. This has come out for the last two readings, the first, the very first card. That's crazy. So many haters in our midst, guys. So many people hating on us. Who is hating on you, Pisces? You already know who it is. We know our haters. Sometimes they try to disguise themselves, guys. But the truth will always come out. Who is hating on you, Pisces? Who's jealous of you? Imagination has come back out, guys. In denial. Imagination in denial. You guys could be dreaming up all kind of possibilities, but you're in denial about something. You have abundance on the bottom of the deck. I'm loving this energy so far, guys. I, below abundance is guilt. All right, Pisces. As I said, you have to learn how to let the past go. Forgive your person. Forgive yourself. You know, make sure that you've learned your lessons and understand that you aren't perfect. You aren't perfect. And neither is your person. Sometimes you have to accept people as they are. Just the same energy that you get another chance every day that you wake up to get it right and to correct the mistake and to learn a lesson. So do the people who violate us. The same people who hurt us, who cause us grief. They get the same concessions. Clear and concise messages for Pisces. We have some guilt going on, some jealousy, some dreaming, and denial. All right, clear and concise messages for Pisces. Okay, Pisces, two more. I just saw the Queen of Cups. There is your energy. Thank you, Spirit, for confirmation. Let's do it again, guys. Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups, <laughs> Queen of Cups in the world. You trying to close out something here or you have closed out something, Pisces. That's why the separation card is here. I feel like you guys waited on your person to get right and they never did. 
So now you're moving on and manifesting something new. Your manifestations work, guys, because you do have new love in your energy. If it hasn't arrived yet, guys, it's close enough that it's in your energy. All right, clear and concise messages for Pisces. Let's see why these messages are here. What's the most important message for Pisces? You need to be aware of it this time. We have a King of Pentacles joining us tonight. This is Earth Energy. This is Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This could be you. We'll keep going. We're here for it. We'll see what's going on. But there's some stress. There's some stress here. There's a burden here. This King of Pentacles. I think this is you, Pisces. I think this is you. I think this is you manifesting and having a lot of responsibilities and a lot of weight on your shoulders. You're trying to make a lot of things happen here. You're trying to make a lot of things happen. But you may be losing patience here. I have the Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot in Reverse. Something could be delayed here. Something could, um, you may have lost control with something. You're working on something though. But something is causing a delay. Something is causing a delay. Here's a tower moment, guys. This is transformational energy. It was a surprise. Something happened that you didn't see coming. And it upset the stability of your home. There's confusion here. We have confusion. We have guilt and denial. Confusion, guilt, and denial. But someone's needing to speak their truth. Someone is looking for truth. Someone is looking for truth. Okay, and as I said, you were waiting. We have the three of wands in reverse. You manifested something, and I don't think it turned out to be what you thought it was. I have this page of pentacles in reverse. Okay. What I find very interesting, Pisces, for your reading, the only cups that have shown up so far is confusion. I don't see any other love yet. We're going to keep going, but I don't see any other love yet. Okay, let's... What else? What else does Pisces need to be aware of? What's going on with Pisces? Three of Wands in reverse. This card won't go away. This talks about not growing, not being able to expand, not being able to move on from something. Something was in place. There were plans. There were plans in place. And something brought those plans to an end. I have the Hermit. Something held them up. Something held them up. Why is this Three of Wands here? Two of Wands. Ooh, guys, the two and the three of wands. This is something to do with a, a relationship, guys. You also, you have the hierophant here, which has four wands on it, but it's in the reverse. There's a progression here. We have the two and the three. What are you looking for? You're looking for balance. You're looking for stability in your home life, security. You could be daydreaming. I have the moon. And it's in reverse. And Lord, why do these two cards always come out together? On the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. Fear. You trying to protect yourself. I'm not quite sure if this is an indication of deception. But for now, I'm going to read this as you are not sure what lies ahead. You're, you're stuck. You're unable to move past something, possibly the separation. That's why I stay optimistic about your love life came out. Spirit is letting you know. You know, you, there will be justice. I bet you two of my fingers, and I need all of my fingers, that justice will come out in this reading. But I think this is about you trying to put up a false barrier around yourself, Pisces, trying to protect yourself from getting hurt because you don't know what the future holds. I have the two of swords in reverse, the six of cups in reverse, and the five of swords. This is definite indecision. Indecision and conflict, imbalance, being stuck, the hermit. 
not being happy, not getting my way, not getting what I'm manifesting. What are you manifesting? Love. Love. And if you're not manifesting love, Pisces, you're manifesting something that you are very emotionally attached to. I have the Ten of Cups here. This is balance, harmony. Okay, guys, so there is some stressful energy here, some depression, possible secrets with this High Priestess card. And with this Four of Swords being in reverse, there is an um, energy of someone leaving with this separation. Let's go on with a different deck and clarify some of these cards. All right, let's start with this King of Pentacles. Let's find out why he has shown up. Again, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy. Why is the King of Pentacles here? I have the King of Cups in reverse. I feel like this is your person, Pisces. I think that your person is a pretty, you know, stand-up person as far as taking care of home or working, you know, putting away money, saving money for a rainy day, being responsible, making really good decisions with money. But there's something about your feelings changing here for this person or, this, you know, this person could have taken some action outside of the relationship with this Knight of Wands coming out. Give me one more for this King of Pentacles for Pisces. We have the Ten of Swords. There is my ending, guys, but this is something that you resisted. You didn't want to go. And I have the Queen of Swords, but you did. You cut them off. Okay, because this was a burden. I have the Ten of Wands. You know, the relationship was out of balance. There was a tower moment. Let's go in and clarify this tower. Why is the tower here for Pisces? Why is the tower here? The tower is here. We have a queen of coins and the hangman. We have this king of coins and here is the queen. Hangman. I think you guys were trying to get a different perspective. You were trying to see things differently. You Probably we're trying to see the best in this person. That's why denial is here. You were trying to see the best in this person. I have the king of wands in reverse, but maybe you didn't see that this person doesn't finish what they start. They're not committed. But they were to a certain degree, but it could have been false. Why is the hangman here? This is also an energy of, I stayed too long. Two of coins, there it is. You took too long to make a decision. You took a while to make a decision. Somebody could have been juggling someone as well in the relationship with this two of pentacles coming out. We have the hermit. Guys, you have the hangman and the hermit. So there are external and internal factors at play here, and it's caused you to withdraw. It's caused you to withdraw. Have the King of Swords showing up. We have a match on the board, two matches. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles and the King and Queen of Swords. The King and Queen of Swords were a pair that used to be together. Lots of conflict, lots of drama between these two. A lot of anger, a lot of hate. A lot of hate. Possibly a lot of lies, bad communication, have the lovers in reverse, just disharmony, not able to get it together. And I have the moon again, possible secrets, secrets. And there's the tower, different deck guys, same cards, the moon and the tower. You did not see this coming. Something was hidden from you. I have the ace of wands. Somebody was taken an action to be a fool, have the fool, possibly again, third party. There's justice, but it's in the reverse. There's that justice card I was looking for. It's in the reverse. That doesn't mean that you can't find, um, you know, 
justice, guys. It just means that there is some type of challenge with it. Behind justice, I have the five of swords in reverse and the six of coins. So your justice is being held up because of ego. Someone's wanting to win at all costs here. Your person could be holding on very tightly to you. Or you could be holding on very tightly to your person because you don't want to be the one to end it. You don't want to be the one to end it. This could also indicate internal conflict. Or being in conflict with yourself about where you want to invest your time and energy. I have the six of coins and the eight of coins. But here's the problem. I don't see the seven of coins. So I don't see you guys taking time to think about this. I kind of just think that you, you just keep working on it. That's why denial is here. You're not thinking things through and you're not thinking very clearly, Pisces. And it's because you're emotionally. I have the seven of wands in reverse. There it is. Defensiveness. Wanting to give up. And I knew it. There's strength. That's what I was getting ready to say. You're emotionally worn out. You're emotionally unstable. Whatever's going on here, don't know what it is. Whatever this moon card and the tower, guys, that is, that's a big deal. You know, um, this changed the course of your life. This interrupted your pattern. And you're going to have to dig deep and you're going to have to have courage define your happiness. I have the nine of cups in reverse. You're not happy. You're not happy with the way that things went down, Pisces. Three of cups. Possible third party. But this is also an energy of wanting to re reconcile. Wanting to reconcile. But knowing that if you do go back to this person, you're probably going to be unhappy. You already know that magician you know it but you're doing it anyway you're doing it anyway you're lying to yourself is there anything else what do i need i don't really need to but i'm gonna go in and clarify the moon since it's come out twice let's get it let's get it the moon here this moon with the lovers in reverse and the tower why is the moon here what is this the four cups missed opportunity knight of cups your person could have lost you they could have lost you due to their own choices they chose wrong and as I say choices you guys there are eight cups here but this person may have had to involuntarily walk away from you. And I have a moon on this card. You're looking right at the moon. So I feel like you guys knew what was hidden on this card. This person is focused directly on the moon. For some of you, I think that you knew what your person was doing. I don't think this was anything new. I have the devil here. So I feel like, again, you guys hung around. And you made a decision to keep going in cycles with this person, but you made a bad decision. A decision ended up leaving you stressed out. Yep, some type of truth came out, guys, but you still continue to work on it with this person. And it's been a burden. This person definitely had someone else here. I have the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Swords, and the Six of Cups. Your person was definitely given to someone else. They were trying to give to you too, but you guys had turned your back on them. Because I think that you finally came out of that denial energy. I think that you finally can see now. I think you finally can see. I think you can finally see. All right, Pisces. Let's see if we can't get a few more messages. 
see if we can pick up on a little bit more of what's going on why this message has come out i'm thinking that this is coming out because for some of you with the separation coming out you haven't left yet you haven't left yet all right let's get some shadow oracle messages pisces Okay, guys, I think that's about all oh, that is wanting to say. Pisces. Thank you. On the bottom of the deck, we have, we are more alike than I admit. You guys are mirroring each other. Possible soulmate energy. In that moment, I didn't care. In that moment, I didn't care. I want to tell you so much. So I feel like this person hasn't told their complete truth, Pisces. I know you're watching me. <laughs> Pisces, are you tracking this person? Are you tracking them? I took the easy way out. Mm, what's that about? They chickened out? Punk asses. I know more than you think. So with them starting off the reading, I mean, ending the reading with we are more alike than I admit, maybe you were a little unfaithful as well, Pisces. They're telling you, I have things that I need to confess, but you have things you need to confess too. But I feel like this person blamed you. I think this person made you feel guilty. That could be why guilt is here. This person made you feel guilty about this ending. I have death and judgment death and judgment death and judgment i understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges i am learning that endings are merely beginnings there's guilt judgment failure is here But you have abundance, guys. So I do see some type of energy shift in regards to you being able to find your happiness. As soon as I say that, here's happiness. I also have empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. So there's something that you may need to forgive, Pisces, and look at something from a different perspective. I have pride at the bottom of the deck. Now, I love myself, and I see myself in everyone. Okay. I'm being called to the hearts, guys. I'm being called to the hearts. All right, Pisces. Ooh, messages for Pisces. Ooh, these cards jump, jump, jumping. Messages for Pisces. Pisces. We can't take all those. But I do want one more. Messages for Pisces, please. There it is. So if anything else come out, there it is. 
On the bottom of the deck, we have surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives, let go and all will work out. We have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed. There's healing here for you. But it's something that you have to surrender. You have to let go. We have passion. That comes in with this attraction, guys. I think this is directed towards the new love. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at this moment. Enjoy it. I think that a lot of people are attracted to you. With pride being here, I think that you know you guys are happy. You are proud of yourself. You have accomplishments. You have things that you have been manifesting and bringing into your life. Making positive changes and people are attracted to you. I have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. and Remember, love is the greatest healer. You're going to enjoy this new energy that's coming in, guys. You're going to be spending a lot of time together, going on dates. You know, it's going to be a light energy in a relationship, finally, for once. This person could also be younger than you. I have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Definite soulmate energy, guys. I'm not telling you to rush into sex with anyone, but I think that, you know, if uh, once you uh, meet someone new, if it leads to sex, guys, you're going to feel some type of energy between the two of you. You're going to know. You're going to know exactly who this person is. You're going to be very passionate, very attracted to them sexually. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. I think this goes both ways. I think the spirit is asking you to lend a hand, um, a hand of truce to your past person. I think they're asking you to forgive this person, um, not only for them, but for yourself so that you can, you know, move towards your own happiness. And with friendship also being here, this is about building foundations. They're telling you to make sure that you take your time with this new person. You know, build a solid foundation, something that you can stand on, something that's going to stand the test of time. All right, and before we get out of here, let's get a few Moonology cards. This wasn't a very difficult reading. You know, this is about you seeing the light, Carol Ann. <laughs> Step into the light, Carol Ann. You need to see situations for what they are and stop allowing people to make you feel guilty or, you know, to use that and be manipulative to get you to do what they want, to get what they want out of you. Stop living in this fantasy world. You got to wake up. Wake up. Messages for Pisces. Thank you. We have expect powerful change. Expect powerful change, Pisces. You are good enough. You are good enough. You're good enough. I think that this person said a lot of negative things to you this past energy. And I think it weighed on your self-confidence. But you need to understand this is Virgo energy also. You are good enough. Step out of your comfort zone. Step out of your comfort zone. Meditate. You guys need to meditate. You can find clarity in, men in, in meditation. Tap into that self-conscious. We have what do you need to release? There's your denial. You're in denial about something that you need to let go of. There's either a person in your energy that you need to release or you need to release, and probably both, certain behaviors. Certain behaviors. I feel like you guys, you know, you have step out of your comfort zone. Spirit is telling you to do something different. You're going to have to do something different here. On the bottom of the deck, believe in the impossible. Something about faith, guys. Your faith is in a very low vibrational, vibrational energy. I have a lot of um, hints of, you know, you not having faith.
All right, let's get some messages of love for you, Pisces. Pisces. I'm seeing warning. Don't dismiss the red flags. It actually says don't dismiss the red flags here. Warning. Get out of this denial. Failure is here. Strictly sexual. Uh-oh. They're starting to tell on you. That's why sexual union was here. Was this all about sex? Is this someone that you fell in love with and you're fooling yourself with this imagination card? Thinking that they want more out of the connection than they really do. The, this connection is passionate, but it's not enduring. I have rejection. Mm. Did this person reject you? Did they only want sex? Messages for Pisces. Thank you. Different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. You don't share the same vision. You may have a lot of the same values, a lot of the same beliefs. You know, you may have been able to have very long conversations with this person, but there's some things you don't agree on. I have trust. It is safe for you to have trust. You have to let go. This is about that surrender. Trust that spirit is here. They're here. Sometimes spirit doesn't, you know, interfere, but they're here. They're letting you know you can just kind of let them help you get through this. But I think they're trying to tell you they're going to communicate with you through meditation. You have boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now. Something about boundaries, letting people take advantage of you. Not setting strong boundaries with people. Allowing them to hurt you over and over again. I have regret. There's the regret. Maybe that's the guilt. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. This person is sitting in regret for what they did to you. But they said in that moment, I just didn't care. And they're a coward. They already told you they took the easy way out. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. They were here just to be a lesson for you, Pisces. This wasn't your person. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. That's friendship. That's this new love. Let's get a couple more messages. Pisces. And I think also another message is make sure you learned your lesson from this person, guys. Because you're going to have a new opportunity with someone new. And you need to make sure that you are on the watch. You know, make sure that you see this person eye to eye. Look at them eye to eye. Watch them. Have finances coming out. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. Make sure that you learn your lessons and set boundaries. That could be why this person was here. You're, you, you are being tested. Tested, setting firm boundaries with people. Messages for Pisces. This card is wanting to come out. Children, children are important to this partnership. Some of you may want children. Some of you may have children with this past person. You have fate. This is a destined partnership. Soulmate energy, also karmic energy. That karmic is that past person. You had to learn the lesson. It was destined to happen. It was meant for you to be with this person the time that you were with them. But now it's time to move on. One more, please. One more. Friendship. <laughs> Came back out. And you have two friendship cards. This friendship is leading to more. Uh-oh, some of you are already in connection with this person, this new energy, this new love. On the bottom of the deck, we have here and now. Your true love is already part of your life. So you guys know this person. This isn't someone that you don't know, guys. Before we go, let's take this new love and pull a few cards for that. That's why we're here. But Spirit is telling you to trust. They have your back. Trust, have faith. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Free yourself. Take back control of your life. Clear your energy. Quit going around and around and around and around in a circle. 
have past life relationship. Past life relationship. We have flirt. And this could be the one. All right, spirit. Before we go, tell us about this new love for Pisces. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this new love for Pisces? I just saw the Ace of Pentacles, y'all, and the Five of Wands. You're going to sit in <laughs> a confused state. Why do we always, when we have something worth it, guys, the reason we sit in that Five of Swords and Five of Wands energy is because sometimes we've never had an Ace of Pentacles, a solid offer. So when it comes in, we think all the offers are the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We think that, that we can't rely on them because that's all that we have been dealt. Look at there, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This person is coming in, you guys. I just saw the Eight of Wands. But you may hold them up in some way. Pisces. Lovers is here with the Three of Pentacles. Mm, that's dates, guys. That's sex. Possible threesomes. But that's working. Not that's that's also the energy of not being only about sex. I don't know if I said that right. You guys know what I was trying to say. <laughs> it's getting late over here. That is about wanting to put in work and stabilize a commitment. Soulmate energy with this past life relationship card coming up and this lover's energy. For some of you, this is Gemini. But putting in the work and the connection, I don't think it's going to be all about sex. But you are going to enjoy it with this person, with that sexual union card coming out. Tell me about this new love. Okay. One more shuffle. There's that five of wands, guys. Internal conflict. Two of pentacles. Going back and forth. You're going to hold back from this person, but they're coming in and they are going to really put some pressure on you. Excuse me. They're running towards you. You're the hermit. So you guys may be spending a lot of time off to yourself because you have a lot of decisions that you have to make. For some of you, you may be working two jobs so that you don't have to really deal with the pain that this person may have caused. Mm, nine of cups and the ten of cups with this new love. Wow, that's 19 cups, guys. Ten. That's a success. That's a new beginning. You guys are in the nine of cups. That's your single energy. And in order to get this 10th cup here, this person has to come in with this ace, of, an ace or the page. The page is here, but this page is in the reverse. But I think that this page is in the reverse along with this knight of pentacles because of your actions. But I'm going to go in and clarify. I'm not going to blame you yet. I'm not going to blame you yet, Pisces. But your energy is here. But we have strong um, Scorpio energy. You guys are going to be on this person's ass. <laughs> I have the Queen of Swords. You're going to be watching everything. And it's going to be because of what happened in your past relationship. I have the Six of Cups in reverse and the Five of Pentacles. You know, you may have felt rejected and ghosted by your person. Your person probably gave very little to you, very little to you. And when you think back on the connection, you know, there's just bad memories there. This person didn't show up, but you have this Knight of Swords coming in, guys. But this Page of Cups is in reverse. This could be an offer coming in from your past person, guys. You could have someone new and your past person could be trying to mend things here with you. Let's find out. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. 
Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Thank you. Six of Wands, a success. Something that you're going to put work into. Something you can be proud of. This, are, this is cause for celebration, guys. For some of you, that you know, this could be someone that you meet at a wedding. This could also lead to marriage. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Pisces. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Strength. Three of Pentacles, third party situation. The other person, another man, another woman. And that caused this ending. This person tried to manipulate you and play you for a fool. Tell me about this Page of Cups in reverse. Why is it in reverse? Is it being held up in some way? Why is it in reverse? Knight of Wands, this is your past person. <laughs> and the Knight of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. This could be an apology or an explanation. As they said, there's so much that I want to tell you. But they took the cowardly way out. So I feel like now they're wanting to come back and explain what happened. But do you really? I don't think you want to hear it. Empress in reverse. You're in your feels. You don't want to start anything new with this person. Have the Page of Wands in reverse. And the Ace of Swords is in reverse. That's a no. <laughs> okay, tell me about this Nine and Ten of Cups for Pisces. The Empress. Now, that's what you want to start a new beginning on. You want something new. You want something that's going to make you happy. This person has had you in the reverse. They had you burdened. And with the 10 guys, you ready for the one. You ready for a new A, um, new Ace of Pentacles, I mean, Ace of Wands, a new passionate beginning. High Priestess is in reverse. The world is in reverse. That's not being able to close out a cycle, right? An unsuccessful cycle, but we have the wheel. Ha ha. Where you didn't find success in the past, guys, you have another opportunity here. The wheel has spun back around. That's one thing, guys. When you're at your lowest, when you're depressed and you're sad and things aren't going well and you're just like, you know, can I catch a break? The wheel has to turn back around. And it's here for you, Pisces. So, again, if you've been stuck in this energy, this chariot in reverse, Page of Wands, you haven't been feeling motivated. You haven't been able to think. You haven't been able to find clarity. <sighs> All that's coming to an end. Anything else? Nine of Ten of Cups. Okay. The Fool, guys. Spirit is saying, take the risk. Luck is on your side. You guys, if you have been thinking about doing certain business ventures or taking a trip or starting a new job, start doing the research now, guys. This is your energy is shifting. And this is going to be a time where the same things that you have been manifesting and asking for that you felt like weren't coming in. This is the time. This is the time, but it's going to mean that you're going to have to take a risk. You're going to have to come out of that, out of your comfort zone. You're going to have to come out of your comfort zone. I have the nine of pentacles. This is your energy. You're single. You're abundant. I have the three of swords in reverse. You're working on your healing. You have the four of pentacles. You're finally going to let go. For those of you who have not left yet, you will. You will let go of this person. You will let go. There it is. Detachment. You're going to turn down their offer. And then you're going to attach to this new offer 
of commitment, the new possibility to come in here and build to the Ten of Pentacles to have long-term stability and success. This person is coming in as the emperor, guys. But for some reason, he's in the reverse. This could be your person, though, because the devil was here. This is your past person. Your past person is going to come in, guys, and they're going to try to get you. They're going to try to control the narrative. They're going to try to confuse you. And they're going to stress you the hell out if you allow them to. This Ace of Cups was in the reverse. Spirit is telling you that whatever this is, this opportunity or phone call or text, whatever is coming in from this person, Spirit <laughs> is telling you, you know, you have free will. You can answer the text, answer the phone call. You know, you can take the bait and move on with this person, but it ain't going to end well for you. It's not going to end well for you. I don't see reconciliation with this person. I really don't. All right, give me one more card. Nine of Swords. They want you to focus on your depression. Focus on your detachment. I think that you guys sitting in energy, you kind of cause your own sadness at times. Because you don't want to seek the truth. You don't want to see the truth. Because I feel like if you see certain things, then you have to deal with them, guys. But look at you. You're trying to protect your heart. You're sitting with your arms crossed, your feet crossed. You're blindfolded. Is she tied up? She's not tied up, but the moon is here. She's afraid. And there's things she can't see because she don't want to see them. So come out of this denial energy. You got to come out of this denial energy. But guys, the, the best card that you received in this reading is death and abundance. Death is the opportunity for something new, guys. An ending is hard. It hurts like hell, but it's an opportunity for something new. And with abundance being here, guys, that means it's going to turn out in your favor. All right, Pisces. If you are still here and you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. I hope that you enjoyed your weekend and I'll catch you on your next read.